Well, let's begin with Uber. Shares are in overdrive pre-market as the company posted its best ever adjusted profit figure for the quarter. Gross bookings rose by double-digit percentages in Uber's key mobility and delivery businesses. And I think our friend of the show, Dan Ives, guys, uh, he'll be on with a little bit uh, later to talk about Uber. Really got to the, the nut of this is that this is like a, a wow quarter from Uber. And if you scroll down the earnings release, I'm locking in on the adjusted operating profits uh, for this company in the mobility and delivery segments. Mobility profits up 65% year over year. The delivery business, $181 million in profits versus a $12 million loss uh, uh, the year ago period. I think this is another quarter really showing all the cost cuts that Uber put in place over the past year under its current CEO finally starting to take shape and demand not falling off a cliff. It, it wasn't that fantastic across the board, though. Uber Eats did decline quarter over quarter, right? The bookings, bookings. declined quarter over quarter, and overall bookings came in a little bit shy of estimates. So not to say it wasn't strong, but it wasn't like... It wasn't blowout, but a, this is a blowout, but the market yes. historically wants to see Uber make money, and yeah. they did it, and yeah. that was good. Right. But the company did see a, a loss for the quarter, $1.2 billion, and, and they had to attribute $512 million of that directly to some of their equity investments that they had made. So all of that considered, it's still about Uber, the direct correlation that they have with consumers, how quickly consumers can make a snap decision whether or not they actually want to take price or push back against it and say, in New York, yeah, I'm just going to take the subway instead. That's a common decision that you make. On the food front, it's directly related to how much we're eating in versus eating out or getting some of that takeout. And that directly shows up within Uber's figures and gives us kind of the best inclination or one of the most real-time metrics, perhaps, on our own day-in, day-out basis of how much we're actually taking price or where there is less confidence among consumers as well. Yeah, I mean, the price thing, I think, is a big question. But I do think that... Um, that investors are giving them a big pass, not looking at the net losses, but mm -hmm. looking at EBITDA instead. And yeah. EBITDA is where the company is performing and beating estimates. I will say on the price front, just from a personal perspective, like you guys living in the city, you probably order delivery more often. I lately really opt for pickup over delivery because yeah. I don't feel like paying all of those extra fees because you're not only paying to tip the driver, you're paying the convenience fee of whatever service you're using, be it Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever, and that stuff really adds up. Yeah. What about the $5 gas, though, to pick up your Chipotle, Julie? It's, Chipotle's not that far away. $5 okay. Okay. gas? Okay. I, I'm not <laughs> driving one of your gas. gas. <laughs> Brian Just trying to me. suck you in. I will quickly mention here, uh, Lyft getting a nice uh, a bump pre-market up. Lyft? Lyft getting a Lyft? Bu oh, Sorry. that's good. Up 9% pre-market. <laughs> there we go. And Dash 2. Well, Dash. I agree with you totally, Julie, and that has changed actually how, or, or not just how, but which places that I'll actually order from, because now it's changed. I, I don't want to kind of pay for that massive delivery fee, and so instead I'll look for places that are closer to me for the pickup so that I can just walk there and get it myself. And that's a real shift that we might see. Here. Don't knock my gas guzzlers. What's wrong with my gas guzzlers? Uh, you know, kind of nice, fun, all right, get me around. No? Okay, fine. You're the one who always talks about wanting to save money. Try, you know, but I don't know if you take the Trans Am like on casual outings. Yeah, I got a lot going on, Julie. Is it, is it your errand running car? Whenever I got to class it up, I got, I got different cars for different occasions. You know, how, many, how many cars do you have? We'll take it offline. And he's only putting premium in those cars, Only premium. Too. We know that. Which we know he shouldn't be doing, but no. that's another story. <laughs>